Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Okay, uh, today is Tuesday, July 9th. Uh, Craig Borba. Present. I'm Juanita sure. Garner is underway. Al Jones. Here. David Norgard. Here. Deborah Schwartz. Yes. Here. All right, four are here right now. Okay, rule number two, acceptance of the agenda. Can I have a motion, please? Move as presented. I have a second. Second. Thank you. Uh, I don't have to do a roll call. I have to say. We're all, yeah, we can yeah. just say all in favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We'll move on to Roman numeral three. Any public comments? So anybody online that be a public so, comment? So, uh, no, they're, uh, they're all for you. Uh, I'm assuming you're not public comment, right? Uh, Bill and Peter, you're just going to wait for the foundation section. Right. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the normal four uh, consent agenda. Uh, that's B, uh, A, B, and C. Any questions or concerns about the consent agenda? No. Nope. I have a motion, please. So moved. I have a second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, Roman numeral five, my favorite area, administrative mm -hmm. reports. Uh, so, for the friends, we have. Um, on this one? Yeah. Well, it's in yours. See anybody speaking on behalf of the friends? Um, yes. <laughs> um, the friends have. One second, I'm trying to create silly friends. Um, the friends of the library had, had um, weekly sales on Saturdays in June, and they did very well. I don't know the exact dollar amounts, but they were very, very happy with their results. And uh, she which side? Either side. Um, so they uh, got rid of a lot of books, which was great, and they uh, made some money. The friends did too. So that's good. And then they are planning some monthly sales, like the end of August. So I don't know if they're going to have one in July, but they're going to announce some more upcoming sales. Their their goal is to to clear it out, clear out the, the J.C. Fry building. Oh, I just set them back as I just delivered 230 books. <gasps> oh, my God. Whoa. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. But that's okay, because then we are uh, inventory. Flowing. Yeah, yeah, it keeps us with some fresh fresh items to sell, sell and um, helps support our programs. So um, the friends are on hiatus for a couple of months, and they'll be back, in, I believe, in September for their regular monthly meetings. But nothing really, nothing else. They did have a they they actually did get a special meeting with the architects um, to talk about their book sale space and the JC Fry building. So mm -hmm. that was really good. How did that go? Yeah. It actually went fine. It's it um, we they were very pleased at the end of the meeting with the results. They all had to come to consensus on some things, and um, so but it did it worked out really well. Great. Yeah, yeah it's good. it was it was. Good. It was Perfect. They needed to have that meeting. So it worked out well. Thank you, Jeannie. And we have three representatives from the foundation. Who is going to speak first? So oh, I, I will speak first. Peter Pearson here. Oh, Peter, and then after I speak, I'll turn it over to our new board president, Bill Wiley. Okay. So just to uh, let all of you know, we, uh, we start a new fiscal year and we've elected six new board members to the foundation. So we now have 23 board members which is wonderful. Not only do we have a good number of board members, but we have great skills and traits and connections in the community that are gonna be so important as we go forth with more fundraising. Also wanted you to know that we've elected new officers for the foundation. So most of you are very familiar, most familiar with uh, David Sidley. And David Sidley has been the board president for a number of years. Uh, he has stepped down as president. He's now the immediate past president and will serve in that capacity on our executive committee for this next year. Uh, our new president is Bill Wiley, who will be giving a portion of our report today. And with Bill is Betsy Smalley. And we wanted to introduce Betsy to you today. Betsy is our vice president of the board this year. She's been on the board before, and she's now become uh, an officer of the board as vice president. Betsy, do you want to wave your hand or give any uh, acknowledgement there? <laughs> Great. Um, 
Just wanted to give you a little bit of information about the various types of fundraising that the foundation is engaged in. Because this next year, it's going to be all about fundraising and basically three different types of fundraising that we're doing. First is, of course, we have a couple of special events planned. Uh, the first of which will happen in October called Pride on the Page. This will be the third year of Pride on the Page. And our board member, Corey Roskin, is working very hard on lining up authors for that program, which is going to take place mostly on Sunday, October 20th at the Cultural Center. So we're very pleased about that. We'll have more information about authors and panels and keynote speaker as that date approaches. The second special event that <clears throat> Corey's team is planning is going to be in April in conjunction with National Library Week. And that's based on a program we did last year called Brunch on the Page. And this year it's going to be Cocktails and Hors d'oeuvres on the Page, which will be <laughs> held at one of our board members' homes. Uh, for those of you that... Uh, have met Betsy Smalley. She's agreed to host this program in her home next year. And so we're hoping that we will have an author available in that program. We'll probably have about 125 people in attendance. And again, it will be a cocktail and hors d'oeuvre reception rather than a sit down brunch. So we're excited about having that. So two special events. In addition, we're going to be doing two solicitations of individuals this year. We're going to do an, a solicitation of individuals in November and December. And then again, we're going to solicit individuals in March and April for something called National Library Giving Day. And for both of these, we're utilizing the services of a national organization that specializes in library direct mail campaigns called Carl Bloom and Associates. And Carl Bloom and Associates is going to help us develop the message uh, they will do a layout of the solicitations that are to go out. They'll do all of the creative work for it and do the mailing for us. So we're excited about doing that. In addition to sending out to our current donors, Carl Bloom is also going to do a, what's called an acquisition campaign. And we're going to be mailing solicitations to about 7,000 households throughout the Valley who've never given to us before in hopes that we can bring in some new donors to the foundation this next year. So that's going to happen in November and December. We're going to ask our board members to write personal notes on letters that are going to go out to our current donors. And then we'll do a second solicitation of individuals, like I said, in April in conjunction with Library Giving Day. So then on top of those two fundraising efforts, as you know, we have also taken on a capital campaign fundraising effort of a million dollars, which would be matched by the trustees million dollars to pay for the enhancements to the children's area and the community room in the renovation. I want you to know that we have uh, asked Ed McBride and uh, Jeffrey Norman to be co-chairs of the steering committee for that capital campaign. They have jumped in with both feet. They're very enthusiastic. We've had several meetings of the steering committee and we've now identified eight or 10 individuals who we're uh, asking to be part of an honorary committee for our capital campaign. And we'll share those names with you at a later date once we have them all confirmed, but they're names that are going to be very familiar to all of you and names that are going to open a lot of doors for us in this campaign. So fundraising, 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 and more fundraising is really what's going to happen at the foundation this next year. The capital campaign steering committee is also working with a consultant, Hannah Berger, out of Los Angeles, who's helping us to develop what's called a case statement for this campaign. It will be a document that we give to people individually as we're making solicitations over the next year. And the donors will keep this booklet. It will help explain exactly what this one and $2 million campaign is going to be. And uh, we are confident that we're gonna hit that million dollar mark probably by next spring before we launch a more public campaign to ask people to make smaller donations to help get us to our million dollars. And I am going to stop my report there and I'm going to turn it over to our new board president, Bill Wiley. And when I turn it over to Bill, I'm going to leave the meeting because he's going to gossip about me in the next few minutes. And I think it's probably most appropriate for me not to be a part of the meeting at this point. But uh, if you have any questions before I turn it over to Bill, happy to answer those for you right now. And anything that you'd like me to elaborate on that I've just spoken about? 
All right, thank you, Peter. Questions from trustees? Yes. Uh, could you uh, add any further detail about the direct mail solicitation? You mentioned uh, a number of 7,000. Uh, is there some segmentation to that or you just, what, what's, can you describe that a little bit more? Sure, well, so this, this company, Carl Bloom and Associates, who are specialists in library direct mail campaigns, they have demographic information about the type of households that are most likely to give to, to uh, public library fundraising efforts. So they're gonna sift through the data of people that live in the Valley and pull out those households that they believe are most likely to give based on their demographic information. They will send the mailing for us. So we don't own that mailing list. They send the mailing out on our behalf. And then when people respond and send a donation back to us, then we will own that donor information forever. And we can then approach those donors in future years at no cost, obviously. Thanks. What's the cost for you at this time? So the two campaigns together <clears throat> with all the printing and all the mailing is gonna cost the foundation $20,000. And last year, our solicitation, our individual solicitation brought in $31,000. We're anticipating that it's probably gonna bring in over $50,000 this year with the acquisition campaign. Any other questions, trustees? All right, thank you so much for that presentation. Bill, you're on. Thank okay. you. Good, good evening. Good night, all. Peter. Good night. <laughs> Peter, uh, I wanted to give uh, the uh, uh, input, uh, excuse me, the update on the um, selection of our executive director. Uh, because you were so um, generous to fund uh, several years of the salary for that person. And the executive committee uh, met, and uh, we did look over uh, several uh, resumes and uh, entertained options from other people, but uh, we decided to uh, go with Peter Pearson. And um, uh, Peter stepped away because he wants everything to be transparent and if there are questions um you wanted you, you to be able to ask those uh, without his presence but um yeah i think you, i think you recall that um we had very positive uh thoughts about about peter pearson and he had helped us develop our strategy and he's really done a great job with uh the five or six committee standing committees that we have on the board we were concerned that he being remote uh, might be a disadvantage to us when we started to uh, go out uh, in earnest to uh, solicit donations because he lacked uh, local knowledge. But a couple of things have happened since then, and one of them is the uh, formation of this, the uh, Capital Campaign Steering Committee and we have Jeffrey Norman from the McCallum Theater and Ed McBride, who you know. Uh, we have um, uh, Joel Preston, uh, Jack Fitzsimmons uh, from Rotary, and uh, Michael Michael Collin. Uh, Michael, uh, having done capital campaign in um, New Jersey, uh, and Joel having done several of them, and of course Jack uh, doing lots of fundraising locally. Uh, I went to a couple of the steering uh, steering committee meetings uh, for this capital campaign. Uh, there are no reservations about our ability to um, uh, meet uh, people and get to the right people uh, in terms of solicitation for substantial donations. And so that condition or that concern was off the board. And then we looked at uh, how much progress we made uh, with the with the uh, foundation and the committees with Peter uh, since February when we brought him on on an interim basis. And that progress has been substantial. And you can see from the reports he gives um, and the most recent one just a few minutes ago, uh, he's on top of everything. Uh, and the other side of the coin is if you brought someone else in, um, the learning curve we thought would disrupt our momentum. I do believe we have substantial momentum right now as an organization and our our ability to um, fundraise and achieve our 
goals and, and realize our mission is substantially higher uh, by uh, having Peter with us. Um, the agreement is uh, one year and then an option for the second year. Um, that's based on mutual agreement uh, in terms of the timing. So uh, I just wanted to share that decision with you and um, hopefully you're also positive about uh, that exec that person as our executive director. And we, we um, appreciate the teamwork and um, uh, teaming up with 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 the trustees it's been it's been great the last uh, two three years and uh, we we look forward to a lot of progress in the next year or two so thank you thank you bill questions from trustees yes just one were there any objections at all bill were there any objections N no this was a unanimous the executive committee uh was unanimous on this and uh, we're going to ratify that decision uh, at our meeting. Um, I expect that um, that will also be unanimous. Well, I mean, from uh, Bet maybe Bet Betsy, Betsy's been on a couple of these committees. Um, if you want to weigh in, Betsy, I mean, people are really responding to his his sense of organization. He sits on all the committees. He organizes all the committees. He does the minutes. Everybody's energized. Um, and. Uh, I don't know. It, it would be very difficult to replace uh, him in that capacity. Betsy, what do you think? Oh, I agree, hundred percent. I was going to say too, since I attend those meetings, I've always been very impressed with Peter. So I think yeah. it was a good choice as well. Not that my vote counts. But for what <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, Bill, I have two questions. Uh, is he going to be coming out here at all during this one year that you have a contract with him? Yes. Um, the good news is that. We had set aside some uh, funds in our budget for um, an executive search firm in case we needed to use that. So we're going to reapply those to some travel budget. And he's set to come in uh, in September. Uh, and then we think we're, we want him to come in uh, again uh, after the first of the year. If, if um, we need more frequency, um, great. Uh, and I think when he comes in in September, it'll be great for um, maybe we can set up um, a meeting. Uh, I don't know if he could be here at the trustees meeting at the same time as the meetings that uh, we have and the events that we have. But what we have to work on that and um, we will. The, um, Peter said he will be here September 9th through the 13th, but your board meeting is September 4th. Right. So if you if you did want to have him in person or do something, if what you could you could set up a separate you know just a meet and greet or something if you wanted to. That'd be nice. Not not yes. an official meet and meet. Yeah, not a meeting, just a meeting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a meeting. Small yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what percent of a contract is he working? Pardon me. What percent of a contract is he working? Is it hundred percent, fifty percent? 75%. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, he's. Uh, we're really extending the uh, part-time uh, extension um, of the, the 20 hours. Um, he's working more than 20 hours, but nominally uh, in writing, it's 20 hours. Yeah, so, 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 yeah. so okay, it's so. it's the it's the same it's the same as the um, uh, proposal for the um, grant that you gave us. So okay. all the particulars of the grant are uh, in in force, and it's it's um, it's the same. It's a it's a half time person. Great. All right. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. No other questions. No. Trustees? Thank you. Okay. Um, you have the floor. Oh, I have. I'm just here to observe. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Bill threw you underneath the bus. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I will say this. I did want um, it was very effective when um, David Sidley and I were at the meetings and I wanted our newer members of the executive team to to come and meet you and, and observe a meeting or two and for you to get to know them. And that's why Betsy's here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Hey, any other questions on this item? OK, our library staff report. Um, oh yes, uh, yeah. David Sidley um, wanted to make sure you guys know he's just 
on as an observer. So, yeah, and me, I'm on? Yeah. You're on. Okay, hi, <laughs> welcome to the library. Uh, I um, I guess we'll get to it. I realize there's a mistake on the agenda because it says appointment of trustee or treasurer, but it's election. <laughs> We messed up the word again. <laughs> so we'll get to that seven B. It should say election of, because um, yeah, we realize. Where that are that. you reading? I'll get. That, I'll get to it. Seven B. Seven It says appointment of, and it's actually election, election of. of. Okay, so back to. Oh, I see. Back to library That's report. Uh, summer reading program continues um, now through July twentieth. Um, so if you haven't signed up, you, there's still chances to, to win grand prizes. We have some really amazing prizes, including a $100 Amazon gift card, eight bikes from Sustainability Commission, an electric scooter, um, a Nintendo Switch, and a PlayStation 5. Why do I sound so old? A PlayStation 5. Um, and uh, so among other prizes. Uh, but as trustees, too, I want to invite you to participate in our grand finale celebration. That's um, July 24th at 1030 a.m. And you are invited to attend. And if you want to, you can help us give out the draw for the prizes and stuff. Um, it is a lot of fun. Anybody been to one before? No. But <laughs> a lot of kids come in. They all want to win. And it's so exciting. What did you say? 1030 in the morning. 1030. Yeah, before hopefully before it gets too hot. Um, the uh, the greatest time is when the kid if the kid wins and they're actually here to take their prize with them. Uh, last year we gave away the little um, uh, drivable jeep, <laughs> and they challenged the weight limit on that to see how many kids could pile in. Right, the, the kids were piled in that thing, driving it away. And so we were very excited that the winner of the Jeep was here to drive it out the door. But it's fun when the kids can take their bikes right out the door. It's a lot of fun. Um, uh, the, tomorrow night uh, is library night at the Palm Springs Power baseball game, in case you just love to get out in the heat. Um, I will be throwing out the first pitch uh, before the game starts. The game starts at 7, but... Um, the first pitch, I think, happens just a few minutes before then. They do the national anthem and the first pitch. And and if you show your library card, you get in free. So um, it's so much fun. They do have misters. They have a cooling system that's on the shady side. The sun does go down about 745. Well, over here, maybe earlier, probably right about 7. Um, so if you want to, you're welcome to come. I will not blame you if you don't. <laughs> it is hot. Been practicing? No, I need to, but I'm just I'm, I'm, it's a little late. I know. Yeah, it's too late now. I've I've thrown it out before and it was a dirt ball, but you know, whatever. It, it's you're fun. representing us. <laughs> no, <that's right. laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't I donated my ball from the last one. <laughs> I moved. <laughs> okay. Um the next time the architects will be at City Council is uh Thursday, July 25th. So they will be presenting the next stage of whatever they're working on right now. We're still in design development, so we're still working on the details, placements of doors and Thing, things like that, the size of the door openings for different areas. So um, also the next library renovation steering committee is going to meet on Wednesday, July 24th at 5.30 and that will be here. So okay. you'll be there, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, and David, okay, great. Um, so we'll have representatives from the community and different organizations there at the steering committee. And then the next night will be city council. Um, so the presentation at city council will happen at the beginning of the meeting. Um, it's not an official agenda item. So um, if you want to give comments, you can you can write in, or um, I think you have to wait until the public comment time, which is around nine o'clock at night. So just uh, FYI about that. There is, you can do public comment if you want to submit anything to council um, via email or, um, just email or filling out an online form and then that's email. Um, so thank you to Juanita Garner for presenting at the Joint City Council Library for Boards and Commissions uh, meeting on um, June 17th. It was really great. 
to have you there. And uh, I don't know if any of you were able to watch. Did they were did they put that on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but she did a great job uh, representing you all. And um, it was just a nice night to, to meet other commissioners and, and be together. I don't know if you have anything you wanted to add about that. It was just, thank you for that opportunity. It was wonderful to be able to stand up there and, and show my enthusiasm for this wonderful renovation. But um, it was really nice. And I sent a suggestion to city council. I think that we should have our presentations first and then have an opportunity to kind of talk oh, to other yeah. people because I had some questions about the other commissions but then yeah, but yeah. Seattle, you know, so maybe do the dinner maybe do the dinner maybe but yeah. then we're starving <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was a, a nice opportunity to get together and as as a way to thank the boards and commissions um, with the dinner <laughs> um, the city council is working to schedule a joint city council Agua Caliente Band of Puya Indians meeting um, tentatively on July 18th at five o'clock at the convention center. So they do that pretty regularly. I know it's pretty pandemic. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this thing off. I'm sorry. Hang on. Oh, there we go. That's on side. Okay. Well, so just FYI on that one. Um, library outreach. We've been doing some um, some fun outreach. Our children, children's librarian and our teen librarian have been doing uh, outreach this summer. They do it all year long, but they've been working with um, James O. Jesse, Desert Highland Unity Center, and the Boys and Girls Club to take our summer reading program on the road. So we've been taking the program to them, um, taking crafts up there, uh, books, um, all the little giveaways and things that we that we've been doing. So um, it's a great way because it's difficult for the um, James O. Jesse staff to bring the kids down here because they're their kid, you know, transportation and they can't bring everybody. So it's it's great um, for us to go up there and work with them. And then even just today, our team library went over to the Boys and Girls Club, even though it's right there. Sometimes it's hard for them to get away <laughs> due to staffing. So we took it on the road. One moment. Okay. Um, next month, uh, Tuesday, August 6th at 7 a.m., I will be presenting to the Sun Up Rotary at the Mizell Center. So um, I do present to service or organizations. So if you have a service organization that uh, you'd like me to go make a presentation to, I'm happy to do it. Tell them about what's going on at the library, what where we are in the renovation, all those things. Tell them about some fun services that we have that they might not know about. So we did that. And then another outreach uh, event that we did was this last Sunday, um, Jeannie and the Cart Throbs performed and we danced our hearts out at the 1 PS lip sync battle. And Juanita was a, a den mother <laughs> helper at the event. Um, so we were representing the Palm Springs Public Library. We danced to Footloose. And um, it's sad to say we did not win, mm -hmm. but uh, we won over the hearts of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. I mean, we they were cheering. It was so fun. You guys were amazing. Mm -hmm. we, well, thank you. So, uh, you guys did such a great job. Mm -hmm. You oh. should tell them a little bit about how it was. <laughs> oh, okay. it was so cute. The competition was so stiff. I mean, there were so many great acts. I mean, it's you had to they had to pick winners and. Um, so our act, we did Footloose, and I started out, it was a library scene, Arun was a li library shelver, he was shelving books, and Stephanie was shelving books, and I was at the reference desk, and the phone rings, and, and the people asked, asked some really stupid questions, and, uh, and then I start singing Footloose, uh, and then, um, then we have a wardrobe change, and then we're suddenly at prom, 1984, and we're all wearing Lisa. Lisa was in a in a gown, and we had all these different colored prom prom dresses. And Rune had his bow tie and suspenders. <laughs> and um, so then we had our dream sequence of now we're at prom dancing it out. But suddenly we have book carts. <laughs> <laughs> so so we did a big dance, and it was a lot of fun. And I got a lot. Of, got some laughs and chuckles. And the reference question that caught one or two, but one I'll tell you the first one. The first one was. Um, uh, I said, no, we can't reschedule the solar eclipse program. <laughs> that was a real question when we had a solar eclipse here in 2017, I think. 
Like 4,000 people showed up. Somebody called and said, oh, my daughter's in school during that time. Can you reschedule the program? <laughs> uh, no, the sun won't wait. <laughs> really, it's a real question. So we had to use that one. So my team members were Lisa Brock, Michelle Magana Nunez, Stephanie Lang, Arun Mayani, Nancy Valdivia, and Lilia Rodriguez. And decor was done by uh, Irene Navarro. And we had lights, we had glitter. Um, we had a we had fake a set shelves. we had fake shelves we had a set change so that one side was uh, looked like the library and then we turned the boards around and then it was prom um, and it was a great way to promote the library so, um, so it's, it's definitely outreach <laughs> and it was sold out the show was sold out I sense a new fundraising strategy here the <laughs> dance show <laughs> we're gonna dance our hearts out. Um, and then uh, the day before that, uh, our library had a flood. So uh, our ad administration offices, there's a restroom back there and the toilet, the water line broke, oh, but nobody works in admin on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So nobody noticed mm -hmm. until all four, four of the offices were completely drenched and the water was coming out the door and the library customer says, you know, there's water coming out from under that door. So. Is that why the yellow tape's up there? Yes, it flooded out into the main room. It went out here um, under the, um, the plans cabinet. It went under her cabinets that are built in, which are probably going to end up getting ripped out. Went into the kids' room, the kids' bathroom, like everywhere. So the toilet's ready to renovate the slide. <laughs> right now. So we're not quite ready, but um, it's, yeah, what a mess. So we're in temporary uh, locations. We're just camping out in different storage rooms and, it's a disaster yeah i mean it, it could have been really bad but um you know luckily we've got good crews coming in to clean us up and dry us out oh what are you gonna do yeah so uh yeah. and um good news we are hiring we are hiring library assistants to work at the circulation desk at the front so it's officially posted on the city's uh human resources page so we have uh, currently two positions. We're going to have a third position. So the jobs are posted right now. They just went live and they're going to be um, open until July 23rd at 4 p.m. So go to the city of Palm Springs website if you to, to tell people about our jobs. So we uh, we don't have job openings here very often. Uh, we have very we have one of the lowest turnovers in the whole city. This department. So people like to work at the library. And um, so we're very happy to have these job openings and um, excited to get the word out and get some really great applicants who love libraries. And we're not your, your grandparents' library. It's not quiet here. <laughs> not a lot of reading books. But um, sorry, my report was very long, but that was my report. And we're off on August, so yeah. Any questions for Julie? Yes, David. Uh, so information. Back to the the, the waterfall. Uh, <laughs> was there any serious damage sustained with books or uh, files or? Oh, so yeah, we're very lucky. I was telling you before the meeting started that um, if you if you look at our floors, they said that the drywall was not affected because if you look at our walls, there's a rubber baseboard trim. There's no dry drywall below that. It's all just. Um, oh like steel beams so no so issues, not there um so no drywall was damaged but poor lisa has built-in cabinets um and they said they're soaking wet underneath so they're gonna have to come out because they won't be able to get them dry in time so uh, but books are up off the floor um we lost a few little things that were on the floor but we don't keep too much stuff on the floor just for this reason yeah. because uh yeah, yeah don't store things on the floor <laughs> because they will be ruined. <laughs> trying to think what, I don't know, anything bad, nothing, nothing real major. We had used to just a couple, you know, some things got, my emergency kit was on the floor and it got wet, but you know, it was all pretty protected stuff. So no, we're very lucky about the books. Everything's okay on that. The carpet's gross. It smells horrible. The furniture's, yeah, we're lucky we're getting a renovation because all the furniture at the bottom is all like soaked up the water. Um, all our desks. Okay. Any yeah. other questions for Jean? Okay, let's go to Roman numeral six. Treasures report. Well, there's not much to report. I mean, you have it in there. The chain is again very minor. 
from the last report. There really isn't. No real show. That's great. That's good news, right? Yes, yeah, so it is good news. It's on page, well, I don't know what page it counts. It says nah, nine on the bottom, but it also says one. But in any event, this is the summary page that we always refer to the balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not really much of a change at all. We haven't had any donations for quite a while. No, we'd be happy to take some donations, but we can also, you know, direct your donations to the, the Library Foundation or the Friends. But yeah, we um, we don't get too many donations on the trust fund. It's just um, the foundation exists now for that, and the mm -hmm. Friends. Um, yeah. Every now and then we'll get we'll get a big request or someone leaves it in their estate. But... Okay. Any questions for our Dragon's Veterans Report? Okay, hearing none, I need a motion to accept. Move to accept as presented. And first one, second. second. Thank you, Iris. First and a second. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, thank you, Al. Let's move on to Roman numeral seven discussion action item seven A is election of a library board of trustees, chairperson, vice chairperson, and director. So oh, we can just still eliminate seven B. I completely made a mistake. Yes, I ignore yes. So seven B is a mistake. I meant to erase it and got busy and yes. So are you moving that then to the last page? Seven A. Covers you every covers covers seven A covers the record. Yeah. Wow. Seven B is inactive. Right. So it's, it's okay. We'll just write right. seven B. I thought I fixed it, but then I forgot to erase the old. Okay. 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 But we still have the script we have to follow. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And the script is the last page. Well, are we there yet? Oh, we're there now. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you if I if I made it. We spent hours. <laughs> I must tell you. Listen, I've got your emails. No. <laughs> and it was that the right email? No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. No. So no, that's okay. I mean, he didn't get mine, and I have no idea why. But I have proof that he sent it. And I don't know what happened to it. Well, it went on. Never it had good intention. Maybe the phone is just the way to go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was texting. in Copenhagen, so it was oh. not easy to uh, yeah. right. do that. That's true. But we but we did come to an agreement. Uh, we did. So what we wanted to do. So nominations are now in order for the office. Yeah, that's the chair. That's my part. Oh, that's your part. Okay. Yeah. So you can stand for your own. Just 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 you do that part. Okay. Nominations are now in order for the office of chair. Uh, are there any? Are there any nominations? I think we would like to nominate Craig Florba. Yes, we would. Okay, what do I do in this case? That's why I was doing it for the moment. You just keep going. Yeah. Um, no, you have to I will not be able to fill the term. Why? Well, you can you can tell them if you okay. want. Okay. Uh, you cannot fill the term? I will not be able to fill a year's term. We are moving. Oh. After 38 years in Palm Springs. To where? Oh, we are wow. moving east. To Rancho Mirage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, far away. But let me ask you, I honestly, I don't know, and I need to ask on this question. To be a uh, trustee, are you required to be a resident of Palm Springs? Did you get an answer from the clerk? Oh, uh, I called her. We discussed it. She did not give me an answer. You still okay. own your property in Palm Springs? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. that should be good enough. Okay. Well, okay. I, you know, I would say we're still, today. We're still <laughs> going forward, and if at some point we've, okay. we're going to have to get some ruling on that. I mean, David simply lives in the Rancho Mirage, but he's on the foundation. Well, foundation doesn't matter. Does I know. But it's anyway. not a city commission. So, okay, so this way, if uh, if you want to nominate me and you want to have me do it, I'll do it until I can no longer do it, okay. and then the vice president will take over. That's true. That's there you nice. go. That's there we go. That's so nice. Juanita yeah. is likely Juanita. to be nominated for that position yes. next. So okay, yeah. Juanita, you <laughs> okay. good with that? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So, uh, are there any further nominations for the office of chair? It says pause here, but the, <laughs> you can say. 
Okay, I seeing none, uh, <laughs> appears to be no further nominations for that particular office. Seeing none without objection, the nominations are closed. Okay, right? Now do I go right to vice chair? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't okay. even put treasurer, but it's still, uh, you do uh, do the, uh, right, vice so chair? Does he have to declare that they're elected by unanimous consent? Maybe it's when you get a, well, do you do them all at the same time? How did you do that? Uh, nominations are closed, and then I could come back and do one. It's not after ensuring that no members are this is such an like, simply it's declare. No, it's, it's really, no, it's, yeah, we should be able to do all of this by acclamation, but the city won't let us do it. Okay, so are there any nominations for vice chair? I say let's just do yes. the nominations for each one, and then okay. just you declare and it. That all. would be that would be one. Yeah, to buy that. If she will accept. Yes, I'm not moving east. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, are there any further nominations? Uh, seeing none, that objection, nominations are closed. Okay. Now, the next one is for, are there nominations for treasurer? Yes, there are. One. Okay. Al Jones. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Are there any further nominations for treasurer? Okay, hearing that there's none, seeing there are no objections, and nominations are closed. Okay, now I, can we just say for all three positions? I say yes. Okay, can I have a motion for all three positions? So moved. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, yeah, really. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed? Okay, great. Thank you, Deb. Congratulations. You. We'll be on the nominating committee any day of the week. <laughs> well, David's going back on the nominations yeah. committee. <laughs> oh, oh, you're kicking us off. No, 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 no. David, he, he wants to be back. He, oh, okay. he emailed me. Nice. Oh, you do? Okay, David, it's all yours. It's oh, you are discussing the committee. We can have three on the nominating committee. Okay, we'll no, go ahead and one. So 7B is void, void because it was a mistake. Right. So we should just yeah, so we'll go to no, right. item C, trustees consideration of volunteer for committee assignments. Well, and the committees are listed at the bottom of the page. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So um is that where we are? Yeah, I think so. Well, we're at C, but if there's anybody that wants to be on a different committee or wants to withdraw from the committee. I, I'd still like to continue to be on those committees, including the liaison with the foundation. Okay. I would right. enjoy that. Deborah? I do, but you know, I work full time and it seems like every time there's a friends meeting, I have another meeting. So I don't want to. Oh, I'm not. No, she's on both. Oh, I'm she's on both. On both. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just on the friends. <laughs> but they're, you're, you work during the day for both, they're both during the day. I know, that's the problem I have. So I have to be an occasional drop in. I was doing fine for a while, and then also the um, the Zoom link never worked for me. Oh, well, the friend the friends in the library said well, we didn't really want that option. Yeah. So, oh well, that takes care of that. We don't even turn it on. <laughs> but does this foundation does okay. have Zoom? Yes. Uh, yes, they do. Have oh, see, I never okay. have that one. But they're going to have they're going to have it too because Bill is going to be in Chicago. So he's I would to... like to be on the foundation and not on the friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she can make that change. Mm -hmm. she... Okay. Good. Juanita. Yeah. Okay. It's a good. It's a good yeah, they know. Meet. They meet the second Tuesday at two o'clock. Oh yeah. And then the foundation really meets the second Thursday, Thursday at, at three. Three. That's. Better for me. Yeah, that would be impossible for me, but no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. And um, Al and Juanita, you're both on the budget. You both want to stay on the budget. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. yes. We seem okay. to be a good team on that. Yeah, that's good. We're still we spend hours. hours. I yeah, still want to stay with that. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> policies and bylaws, Juanita, you're still good with that? Yes, that's good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good. good. Foundation liaison, you're both on, and it will be zoomed, and so you're somewhat covered. Yeah, because yeah. I can make some of them. I mean, two o'clock on Tuesday. Oh, and they only meet six times a year, right? So they've only. Oh, that's good. They have one meeting this week, and then it, so it's every I, other. I've month. never missed one. So uh, there is a meeting this week. Uh -huh. No, we are all. I've never missed. Yeah. Okay. Good. And where is it? 
Uh, it will yeah. be in this room. Yeah. Okay. Or on right. Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so they will. All right. But they do have Zoom too. So. Yeah, but I can make this one. Okay. Jane, good. Okay. And friends, uh, I'll still be their liaison. I'm also on our executive board now. Yeah. So oh. that works. I can get two meetings done. As long as you live in Palm Springs. <laughs> yeah, and they don't care either. I would be a geese. Look at the ranch in the garage. That was so anti climatic. I know. So I set it up pretty nice. Oh my God, they're going to Boston. Exactly. Okay, and Al, you'll stay with Measure J. Yes, sir. So anybody that wants to be on the committee and they're not the star the committee? Okay. Well, there, there's just one change then, and that's Deborah with friends. Right. Right. Deborah Deborah off friends. Off friends. Yeah. yeah. And on somebody committee will, that I somebody will, on and didn't even know. Somebody will connect her with the foundation. So I, I mean, I know. Efficiency always. All right. Um, <laughs> That's really I don't funny. know if we need to make a motion, though, do we? Um, I think I it's uh, a lot of con consultant. Mm -hmm. I think you all just well, volunteer for, oh, for your yeah. committees. Yeah. I don't yes. think you need a motion. Um, okay. Maybe. So we're good. So, yeah. I would, Okay, so let's move to Roman numeral 7D, which is uh, library renovation updates. Well, I kind of gave uh, gave that in my staff report and the toilet. Uh, the, How could the, I forget? The toilet started without us. Uh, but that's not a renovation. <laughs> it will be. I yeah. hope we were going to do better than that. Better than that. Oh, yeah. but, but they're making their presentation next week. Is that correct? The 25th. The 25th. So we've got a couple weeks. Um, I have a meeting with the architects tomorrow. We, we meet every three weeks online and discuss things and do updates. But Are, are, um, are we basically on this? On mm -hmm. schedule. Yeah, we're still on schedule. Okay. Um, I know they said that they were going to um, finish the design development early August, and then we'll go into construction documents. So that's very and exciting. And what do we need the city council to do? So when they um, when they get ready to go, right now nothing. Um, the the city the, we just want to make sure that the city council isn't surprised by anything that's going on. So is there any decision making that they will? Not at this July meeting. It's just so a, what about subsequent? Uh, um, the July meeting is just a status update, and then uh, we don't have anything scheduled later. But um, what will come down the road will be um, approved. I don't know if they. I don't think they have to approve it going to bid. I'm not sure because uh, that's not my department. But they'll either uh, uh, approve the bid or approve the the awarding of the bid. And so it will go out to bid for a contractor. And then at that time, they'll approve the bid and approve the financing. Okay. So once it goes live for bidding, the finance department will work on the documents. And then once they get the bids, they'll fill in the number um, because they can prepare all of the loan. It's like a loan like doing a mortgage, you fill out all the documents. And then once you find that out what the number is that people have bid for this project, then that's what we'll borrow mm -hmm. minus anything that we've uh, earned as grants or gifts or what whatnot. So okay. mm -hmm. maybe the fall, maybe early winter. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. Pretty exciting. Good. Yes. Any other update you want to give us for I don't know. I think we're okay. Okay. Yeah. Any committee reports? Yes. Oh, just one question about the renovation. The meeting on the 24th. My, my experience of the last one was that we kind of ran out of time for people yes. to feel like they had their questions yes. answered. Um has that been discussed? And I asked them to get. I, I said I told them we need uh, an extra thirty minutes. Okay. So I think it should go from five thirty to seven thirty because they were trying to rush it to seven, but yeah, it's really unrealistic to have with. And the group has grown so right. large. Yeah. Just to have everybody say their names takes thirty minutes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the <laughs> literally team, just seemed very rushed. Yeah. So I did tell them, and I'll mention it again at the meeting that I have tomorrow, uh, because, I mean, I feel like it should take as long as it needs to take so that everybody has uh, time to to give their feedback or ask questions, because there's there's not too much. It's almost like a run-through. I think that's what it is, really, a run-through for council that, that you guys see at first. And um, 
alert to any, yeah. any uh, issues or concerns. It seems to me it's important that it doesn't feel like that there because it also builds buy-in at all, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah so. You're right. So, yeah, it's, it's tough to get it all in at once, but uh, yeah, it's important. And uh, I love to, I love those meetings because I love to see the new stuff and, mm -hmm. and love to hear the reactions and mm -hmm. see, see how everybody, how everybody feels about it too. So what they do, I, I feel like they, they, the steering committees, they, uh, they meet, they show you what, what work has been done since the last time. So they come in for these periodic checkups. And so it's the time for them to present back what they took from the last, whatever they've been working on. Here's the newest stuff. And then they take your feedback, go work on the next time that they're going to present. So it's kind of a, you don't get an immediate uh, reaction on the steering committee information, it's going to come a few months down right. the line. Right. So, yeah. any other comments? Okay. Um, no. Any other comments from staff regarding future agenda items or from the trustees for future yeah. agenda items? Just a reminder that we're dark in August, so we will not have a meeting. Oh. Oh. Our next, next meeting is Wednesday, September 4th. <laughs> and then we'll be able to share information regarding you in the meeting on the 20th, July 20th. Yeah, 24th and 25th. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Update on that. So mm -hmm. if you can kind of, that'll probably be one of your agenda items for that coming up. We'll just keep discussion, library renovation on the agenda. Okay, so any other comments for anyone? Thank you for coming and joining Thank our Thank you. Very meeting. interesting. Uh, the, our next meeting is scheduled for September 4th at 5 30. Everybody be safe until then. Ooh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Before we end, uh, our October 2nd meeting, we cannot meet that day because it's Rosh Hashanah. That's the reason. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll need to reschedule our October meeting, but we can discuss that in September. September. So we have two agendas. Yes. Our yeah. September 4th meeting is going to be back in our usual place. It'll be at City Hall. Yes. Okay. Okay, sorry. Right. Thank you for your attendance, everyone. Have a great rest of the week. Congratulations. Congrats on your new. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's going to be a great